CS183S Lecture 6 is about battling apathy, where you're going to be a founder or a salesperson or a sales engineer or a undergrad in engineering practicing sales and entrepreneurship, where there's massive apathy towards whatever you're promoting. And you kind of don't want to lead off with, oh, I go to Stanford, because then people talk to you because... Well, in the back of their mind, they think that you might invite them to your class to do a guest lecture. So you you want to battle apathy by by adding a dose of entertainment, uh, sprinkling in some mentorship. So coming up with creative ways and techniques to to combat apathy. There's a great Justin Quan Con quote, tongue twister, which is uh, starts do not compete against each other. They mostly compete against nobody giving a crap. And that's me editing uh, the S word for crap. But let me repeat that. Startups mostly don't compete against each other. They mostly compete against nobody giving a shit. So the reason that tweet is so critically important is that if you're in Engineering 145 or CS183, B, C, S, or CS183, A, CS183 regular, you're constantly having to battle apathy in the marketplace where where the practice of doing uh, sales and promotion is to, to work those types of muscles. The best ways to battle apathy when you're pitching and selling and prospecting and promoting is to sprinkle mentorship into your presentation or into your attempt to get a meeting. And the way to do that is to tease using triplicates. Let me repeat that. You want to mentor by teasing via triplicates. So if I were to tease you via triplicates, I'd be, I would say, oh, FICO is incredibly important of a credit score, credit card credit score, where one, you can decrease the amount of interest that you pay out. Two, you can get a lower cost car loan. And three, you can, well, you know what? Why don't I tell you about three when you call me back? And what you're doing is you're teasing with triplicate because you're rifling off a ton of information. So that's how to battle apathy using mentorship. Lecture 6 CS183S, countermeasures for battling apathy. One way is to do a real world promotion, real world event. Uh, and I know that sounds expensive, but it doesn't have to be. Uh, one student uh, did a party augmentation and basically evaluated hijack by bringing glow sticks to the party that were branded and then doing a glow stick theme promotion for uh, the app. So battling apathy is something that if you promote and practice you can uh, definitely build a skill set towards that countermeasure of having to battle apathy. Balloons. Balloons believe it or not, is one of the best ways to battle apathy. Whenever you carry balloons into a real-world event in an 11-minute minimum viable party at a hotel bar, at a conference uh, that's across the street, you can absolutely have a bunch of people asking, oh, is it somebody's birthday? Oh, is it some special event? Balloons. Balloons are attention-getting, and balloons can be a conversation starter that helps you battle apathy where you're doing things that don't scale and you're promoting and you're practicing promotion by doing one thing that does not scale. Parentheses, but has momentum. Big part of uh, apathy is where people don't care and one way to battle it, a great way to battle it, is to exchange slices of pizza for lead generation. So people get hungry at the end of the night, people don't think ahead in order, maybe because people have been drinking. So exchanging slices of pizza uh, meets a need of the market. So what you're trying to do is you're trying to solve a need in the marketplace. In this case, I forgot to order pizza or in San Francisco, the pizza oven kitchens, all the ovens all turn off at 11. So if you pre-order and have the pizzas there uh, at the last oven, you're solving a need and then people will be open to listening to your pitch listening to whatever it is that you might be promoting because you're providing them with a slice of pizza in exchange for attention. Premiums is a tchotchke, a gift, uh, something that you give to a person in exchange for their buying, the prospect using, the prospect trying. So if they try, use, or buy, you give them a premium. 
And what you're trying to do is you're trying to prime the attention uh, sales pump by initially giving them something which is a premium in exchange for something that you want which is a sale or a lead and you are uh, battling apathy by using a cheat in this case it's called a premium baby step homework so you could do a Collison Brothers install of a Waze application Waze the traffic app W-A-Z-E Waze traffic app where you help a person uh, find ways in their the app store uh, and then you buy two or three or four uh, uh, cell phone holders for cars so you're in essence taking them from maybe having heard of ways to actually buying which is free buying and trying ways by giving them a premium and this is going to cost you a couple of bucks because a, a, a a car adapter the one with the suction cup costs like under 10 bucks but this way you get to to practice taking the whole scheme and process of giving a person a premium and then having them download an app